So I haven't uploaded for a month, according to YouTube. June 27th was the last video I put up. Um, yeah, don't worry guys, I am perfectly fine. Um, my upload schedule is a bit off, mostly because of a couple things, and I want to talk about them in a separate video, but there's another separate video that I want to talk about other things, so let's just get right into it. Firstly guys, if you care about updates for the channel versus my personal problems, um, just go ahead and skip around, I'll try to figure out a way to edit this. For updates for the channel, I will be doing that actually on a different video, but for what I'm going to say right now, uh, if you just want to listen to that, somebody's calling my phone. I gotta reach right over. Who's calling? Grandma! <laughs> Alright, so what was I talking about? Stuff about the channel, what I will get out of the way right now. Last video I uploaded was part three of Last of Us Part Two, and well, let's just say that part four is seven hours long that I recorded it. And uh, when I ended it, it didn't end on a good note. Um, uh, for those of you who still haven't played the first game for whatever reason, uh, go ahead and skip to this time code right here. Uh, the switching of characters right in the middle of the game really kind of threw me off and I was just waiting to play Ellie again. I really don't like Abby. I ended it where, um, well if I'm going to upload it I'm not even going to spoil it because I'll just let my reaction speak for itself when I actually put it up. When will I upload it? I have no clue. That's to say if I will even upload it, because apparently part one and part two, what I uploaded, uh, view counts were really low. Third one, uh, thanks for 64 views? <laughs> that took a lot of work just to put in sound effects and stuff, and I'm actually really glad that I put in sound effects, because I think people only came to my channel and my gameplay for that element only and not just the story because people are all oh, they're jumping to people with the live streams eh, I don't know I do have a video that is edited but I want to edit the second part before I upload the first part and that's me playing with ps2 demo discs and I'll explain more on that when in a separate video you know uh, recently my friends and I have played heavy rain again and uh, yeah, apparently it was last year that we played the first part, and then when I uploaded the actual part, I did put a disclaimer that yeah, it was recorded from a year ago. Uh, we did get back into Heavy Rain, but we only played for about an hour, so wait until I edit that as well. So other than that, what am I actually doing that I'm not uploading any videos? Well, I have a second channel, I have not uploaded on that in months and it makes me kind of feel bad that I haven't been paying attention to it. For those of you who don't know for whatever reason, I do have a second channel and it's about DIY stuff. Now currently what I'm working on with my DIY stuff, uh, it's uh, pretty much it's just all right here. We got some fingers there, got the hands and the arms, and I've got the shoulder pads just laying around right here. There's one knee pad and the flares that will go on the outside. If you guys have no clue what this is for, it is basically, um, I won't spoil it for you, but it's a robot costume. And it's for my comic convention that'll be coming up pretty shortly. And will be the next few series of videos that is gonna be on my DIY channel. But that's about it for the channel stuff and the video stuff. Oh, actually, wait a second. Um, I am actually trying to get back into working on my animated series that I want to do for the channel. Uh, actually, I'm either going to do it for this channel or I'm going to do it for a separate channel because it's a separate series. I really want to try and get back into that. And I'm trying to study a little bit more on animation, timing, and all that other jazz and stuff. I'm basically doing animation with a couple different programs. So it's a little bit stressful to try and learn and do things at the same time. Now that's about it for the channel stuff. Uh, now with the personal stuff. Uh, within a span of three to four weeks, I went to the walk-in clinic and my actual 
uh, primary doctor uh, about three times around the time of July a year ago I had a condition called swimmer's ear and is because you know people tell you not to use q-tips in your ear apparently I forced a q-tip in my ear a little too much scratched my ear canal and then an infection started so I had to put eardrops in my ears and voila uh, my ear got plugged up my ear got swollen and I hated it it was awful but the eardrops that I were using, every time I flex my the muscle in my ear, it's annoying because there's this random popping noise that always happens when I flex the muscle in my ear. And that's due to the eardrops I had to use. I used them in both ears, but for some reason it only happens in this one. I don't know why. And when I went to the doctor's office the first time, um, it was because of a 4th of July camping trip that I was on. We were swimming in the lake and apparently I had liquid in the back behind my eardrum. The doctor said it was behind my eardrum. If that makes sense, if it doesn't make sense, then yeah, it, it really doesn't if it's behind my eardrum. Um, but I took medicine for that and it was supposed to basically open up my sinuses and drain my ears and all that cool stuff. Went to my primary care doctor and then she said, yeah, there's no liquid or anything. And then I went back to the doctor again. There's liquid in both of my ears. <laughs> and that's due to allergies and I'm starting to get really sick of it. Got prescriptions though. Uh, the, the, they should help. I haven't taken them yet because I've only went today. Uh, as, as of the time of me recording this video, I just came back, no, it was a couple hours ago that I came back from, uh, yeah, it was a couple hours ago that I went to the, the clinic again, and then, yeah, they checked both my ears, and also I've got pain in my left knee, so, don't know why the pain happened, but uh, it's possible it's due to something from me jogging. I haven't exercised in, I, I want to say I haven't exercised within over a year. And that was my go-to thing to always do when I wake up in the morning or the afternoon. My sleep schedule has been super, super off. So yeah, I want to try and get back into my regular sleep schedule and um, yeah, that's really about it. And just so you don't believe me, I am wearing a knee brace on my left knee. <sighs> yeah. When I went to the doctor, she checked my ears. Yeah, she said I have fluid in both my ears. And it's, it really bugs me. Not because it, it's, it's annoying. And the fact that I, when I try to sleep, it really throws me off. Like when I, when I lay down, uh, the, well, the first time it happened, I was laying down and then I was always getting like fluid just flowing over top of my ear and it get plugged. And I was just like, w why? Why does this happen? Now I found out that there's liquid in both my ears uh, due, to can due to congestion. I also think a contributing factor to why my ears are so plugged up is because I use earphones on a day-to-day -day basis. Pretty much every day I wear earphones and it's a habit that I really have to start breaking because I watch YouTube videos all day long. Regardless or not if I'm if I'm eating or if I'm working on something at my workshop or if I'm on my computer I'm always wearing earphones. When it comes to my choice of earphones I always choose these annoying little buggers. I say annoying because they snag on pretty much everything and I have a limited range of motion because of cords. Recently, I bought a pair of Bluetooth earphones and I actually kind of prefer these over those, but do, do, you, do you see how small they are compared to like a regular, my old pair of headphones? Like those would go around my ears. This one just lays right on top and over time it just, there's pain just gets annoying but the battery life is pretty good though 35 hours it advertises 
I haven't had, I only had to charge the battery once within a span of a couple days of using it. And she also checked my left knee because a couple days ago when I said I was jogging, um, I thought it was a ligament torn or something, or I sprained something, and there was just, when I woke up the next day, it was like just pain in my left knee. And I was just like, D -d -d why? What, what more could possibly happen? Like, come on. She checked my knee. Apparently, nothing is super wrong. I don't think I have tendonitis. She didn't really say anything. She said there was no worries for x-rays, but uh, so far I'm just gonna have to ice it and keep wearing a knee brace. I'll talk a little bit more about the videos that I wanna do for the channel updates, exactly. Um, I do want to talk about more games that I want to play for the channel and I want to know I want you guys Want you guys to comment down below. I need requests Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to play and I won't know how many people want me to play them That's that, that's really just how it works I did recently buy a crap ton of PS4 games, and like I said, I play a wide variety of games, like Wii, PS2, PS1, Xbox, I would, I haven't played my Xbox 360 in years, but I have some games that I would actually like to play. But that's about it guys, um, thank you guys for listening, me to me ramble. <laughs> Really didn't want to do that, but I needed to give you, I felt like I needed to give you some kind of explanation as to why I've been gone. And I kind of need to just let it all out. It's just starting to bug me. Uh, hack the like button at the bottom of the video and click subscribe, guys. If you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe. Don't know why I'm talking like that. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you if you've skipped through the video, then you you obviously don't care. And I will see you guys soon with a new video when I explain it. Bye, guys. <laughs>